Welcome aboard a three-dimensional model, one-to-one -one scale, of the Starship Enterprise. Now, you might be wondering why would a uh, computer science lab trying to do science be creating a Starship Enterprise? Well, it turns out a lot of what we create is really inspired by the science fiction that we used to watch when we were kids. So we thought it would be a wonderful homage to those television shows to create a full-scale model so that uh, visitors who come see the lab can also understand why it is that we actually do the science that we do. So Cave 2 is the highest resolution flat panel based 3D virtual reality system we believe in the world. So the components of the cave are 72 3D passive stereoscopic uh, LCD panels that are arranged in a 320 degree uh, shape so that you can step in the center and you receive a fully panoramic view. Uh, there is a, uh, a set of glasses that you wear with little tracking dots on them so that the computer can determine using cameras where you are looking at in the space uh, so that it can repaint the images to fit your particular perspective. To interact with the environment, you have something called a wand. A wand basically also has these uh, trackers on them so that the computer can figure out what you are pointing at in the space so that you can interact with three-dimensional objects in their native space. I'm doing my backstroke over Mars. Um, so as you can see, we are flying over Mars. Uh, this is real data collected from NASA. And in fact, not just Mars, but the stars behind you are also real data. We can imagine that you can project in here three-dimensional images of uh, cars, automobiles, as you are designing them. So it costs less to actually manufacture them. Uh, you can use them to display three-dimensional structures of proteins so that uh, folks who are designing new types of drugs can study how the drugs bind to some of these proteins. Oh, it's fantastic to come to work. Uh, you know, every day is like getting to live a science fiction dream, right? To do science in this kind of environment is absolutely amazing. And this is a, an observatory for looking at science, and you can just stare at science all day.